Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling the need for speed. Specifically, I'm speaking about the need for speed in processing our email. A couple of weeks ago, we did a very popular video uh, helping you overcome email overload. That's dealing with strategies for dealing with email coming in and out. Today, I thought we'd talk about techniques, things you can do specifically within Gmail that will rapidly speed up your email processing capabilities. That's today on Dotto Tech. There's no doubt about it as far as I'm concerned. Email is the biggest time waster that we have in each of our days. So anything that we can do that reduces the amount of time it takes us to process our email, the better off we are. So I'm gonna show you today a series of mechanical things you can do, little things you can do within your Gmail software. And the good news is that these same processes work in other email clients as well. You just have to know what to look for and you will discover what to look for by, through, this, through this demonstration but just little things that eliminate one or two clicks. We can't wave a magic wand over our email and reduce an hour and a half's work into five minutes. That's not gonna happen. But we can take that hour and a half work and maybe make it take us an hour 15 or an hour or 50 minutes, depending on how efficient we get. So these tricks and tools that I'm gonna show you are all designed to save incremental amounts of time that over, if you employ them all, could probably end up saving you a significant amount of time. So the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is when we're replying to emails. Typically speaking, uh, at the start of the day, as soon as you begin doing everything, you're going to jump into uh, you're going to jump into email and you're going to reply to a bunch of emails that uh, people have sent to you. And so we do that just by clicking on the reply. Now, what normally happens is you reply to the email, you send the email, and then you have to go and you have to file the original email away. You might want to send it into your archives, you might want to delete it, but you're brought back into your inbox and you have to deal with that piece of email. I have a tool installed in Gmail called Automatic Archive, which if I use, you can see right here, when I click, if I was to reply to this, when I click it, you see it says send and archive. So it's going to send the email and then it's going to take the original email and throw it into my archive. Now I just throw everything into my archive uh, other than things that I delete. I don't bother filing too much because search works so well in Gmail. So I just, so this typically is how I manage it. Now, occasionally you are going to want to leave the original copy of an email in your inbox because maybe you've just done a partial reply in your reply. In that case there, you still have access to the send, which will leave the original email for you to manually deal with. And if you wanted to file it away into a special folder at that point there, you could do that as well. Now, how this is all enabled is in Gmail settings, which is a place that we go to often. Under the gear settings, we go into settings, and here is the send and archive feature. It's usually set to hide send and archive button and reply, but I've turned it on. By turning it on, I now have access to it. So as soon as I've made my reply, I click send an archive, I've removed one decision and one or two clicks of the mouse from, my, from that particular email's process. I've saved a few seconds, but those seconds hopefully will add up. Let's talk about overall keyboard shortcuts because what I did there was sort of a shortcut, but Google has a whole series of keyboard shortcuts available to us. We'll put a link to this help document, but there's two different types of keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. Now, what I mean by keyboard shortcuts is you don't have to leave your keyboard in order to reach over for the mouse and look around for a button or a menu to pick. Instead, you can enable something just through a keyboard shortcut. Now, as I said, Gmail has two versions of email shortcuts or uh, of keyboard shortcuts. The first are always turned on and that's this short little list here. The second list you have to turn on, you have to enable and I'll show you where to do that in just a few moments. But here you can see all of the things that you can do from the keyboard. Now I'm not assuming for a moment that you will do all of these things or master all of these keyboard shortcuts and if you do, my hat, were I wearing one, is off to you. But it's a good idea to read through these, look for the ones that you might wanna use, and then master those. But it also gives you an idea of processes that you can do with email 
that will make you more efficient. So just the mechanical process that these represent might be worth reading through and make you think, oh, that might be a better way for me to deal with this type of email or to better manage my process. So where you go to turn on your, your shortcuts is, again, we head, as your guest, into the settings, and in the settings, the, right beneath uh, the uh, uh, send, an, send an archive, we will find keyboard shortcuts. They will be set to off, you turn them on. It's just a toggle switch. You turn them on, you turn them off. The only You can find a, a, a description of what the different keyboard shortcuts do in a variety of places on the web, but as I mentioned, we've got a list of them right here as well. So this allows you to, as you're browsing through email, as you're going through it, let's go into our inbox here, and let's just, I'll jump over into my updates tab. And as I'm going through, if I just want to delete email, I can be reading along and I say, oh, time to delete that. So rather than reaching away from the keyboard to the mouse and going to the delete or archive button, I can just use the keyboard shortcut, which my hands are pretty much naturally dropped to in this particular case. It's shift uh, three, it's the, it's the pound key and that deletes it. And you can see in the top, I've got a message that that message has been moved to trash. So it's that easy for me to do. Now, what happens if you accidentally send an email and then you want to recapture it because you've, you've spastically sent the email too quickly. There's a solution for that, depending on how often you do it and how bad it is. Let us return to the, uh, to the settings. And inside the settings, they have an undo send feature. Now the undo send feature you turn on in the Google Labs, which I will show you in a moment because we're gonna go on and we're gonna turn on a different, a different tool. And I just have to find it here. Where is the undo send? Because I noticed they've got a very cool extra feature that I didn't, hadn't noticed before. There it is. Enable undo send. So what happens is Google or Gmail will give you a buffer period. When you hit send, it'll say this is sent. Do you want to call it back? So you've got this moment where as it's typically speaking, just as you hit send, you see that typo, or you realize that you've copied it to the wrong person, or you recognize the fact that you should not be sending this at all because it is career limiting. Well, this sets a period of time that you can recall a message for within a reasonable amount of time. What happens is it doesn't actually send it. It just buffers the email, holds it there for a few seconds before it sends it off. So this isn't great for chatting because if you're chatting back and forth with somebody, you want the email to go right away. Typically speaking, you won't use email for that, but it does give you a slight grace period in which to recall an offensive email before it reaches somebody else's eyes. One of my favorite features set in Google Labs. Now, while we're talking about Google Labs, what is Google Labs? These are these kind of pre-done tool or uh, sorry, beta tools that Gmail is adding to the to Gmail software that uh, that they might or might not entrench in the software. And for the most part, it stayed pretty much the same, but there's a whole variety of different tools in here that you can look at that en enhance the Gmail experience. And undo send is one of them that you have to turn on in here. Now, the one that I wanted to show you right now, though, is another one, which I um, which is called, let me just find it here. Auto Advance, because Auto Advance is a real time saver if you use it properly. Now, right now, it's disabled in my account. So, if you want to enable any of these, uh, any of these Google Labs tools, you have to click on Enable, and then you'll often have a new choice in the in the uh, in in the settings themselves, which I'll show you in a moment. But you also have to remember to scroll down to the bottom and you should read through all of these because there's some very cool things in here. But you have to scroll down to the bottom and once you've read them all, you've got to click on save changes. If you don't click on save changes, if you just hit the radio bo bo button, it will not enable it within your account. So I've now added this extra new feature. So let us jump back and let's take a look at how it resolves. So within, if I go into my settings, there will be a new feature here called Auto Advance. If I scroll down, I will find it. There it is. Actually, I didn't have to scroll down very far. It was right near the top. After archiving, deleting, muting, etc., a conversation, instead of going back to the inbox, this allows us to go to either the older or newer conversation. So if you're a person that works from the bottom of your inbox up from your oldest message to your newest message, you're gonna want it to go to a newer conversation. If you're a person that works top down from the latest message in working your way to the bottom, you're gonna to wanna to go to an older conversation. So here's how it works. I've got it set because I like to work from the bottom up. So if we go back into my email,
Oh, here again, you have to save the changes. After I lectured you on the last one about it, you have to go to the very bottom and you have to save the changes when you make a change there as well. That's where a lot of people kind of fall off the, the bandwagon with, uh, with Gmail is, is the save changes button is so tiny. <laughs> it's easy to miss. Okay, but let's say here that I am now dealing with this and now I'm going to delete it. Now, typically speaking, what would happen is it would then go back into my inbox and I would have to select the next message, but no more. Now it's going to work up chronologically through my less, my, all of my uh, emails. So as you're doing triage, as you're reading through, this gives you the ability to open each and every email one after the other and go through and open them, read them. Oh, this is something that I actually want to pay attention to. I want to add this to Google Calendar because it's an appointment. I can do it. And so I can quickly now work my way through my email using this tool. You know, I've just touched on a few of the different tools that are available to us within Gmail, especially when you consider the tools that are available in the labs. But each one of these little tools that we've looked at takes a few seconds off of the process of managing our email each and every email. Incrementally, that is gonna add up over time, turning you into a far more efficient email processing machine. Well, I hope that you found today's video to be useful. Now, there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Second is subscribe to our newsletter. That way you'll hear about any upcoming webinars, tutorials, and trainings that we have. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community-funded channel supported by the generosity of you folks through the crowdfunding site Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, have a look, and see exactly what patronage and Dotto Tech does for us and what it can do for you because there are perks and the perks are awesome. Until next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.